Hey friends, welcome to A Little Of It All. My name is Taylor. Thanks so much for hanging out today. I'm so grateful that you're here. If this is your first time stopping by, I would just love it if you stayed a while. Be sure to subscribe and check out that description box. It's just gonna tell you a little bit more about what's going on over here. We're all about zero-based budgeting and cash stuffing, but I do love A Little Of It All. Guys, we are starting with something different today. We are actually gonna be opening up some happy mail before we get into the cash stuffing. Katie over at the Fancy Dollar reached out to me, which by the way, isn't she just the greatest? I just love her and her videos so much. I want to be her when I grow up basically. But she reached out to me and asked if she could send me some happy mail and I said absolutely yes ma'am because her products are just Oh, they're chef's kiss. I'm going to be sure to link all of her information below her YouTube channel and then her Instagram page because that's how she does her orders is she does custom orders via Instagram. She doesn't have an Etsy and she's got everything laid out on like how to purchase, what you need to put, the information, all that jazz. It's so organized and she's just such goals. <laughs> but she asked if she could send me some stuff and I said, yes, ma'am. So let's open this up and see what she sent. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited says thank you for supporting my small business i love the feel of that sticker oh i'm so excited i can't wait to see what all is in here oh look at all this goodness uh, and look at the colors like it just shows the attention to detail that she pays attention to because you know, like the green the green heart the sea foam like those are my colors that's my jam and look at the colors of the goodies that she included these are so cute uh, Oh, and the beach, the seashell, if I can get it to turn right. Oh my goodness, there we go. Oh, these are fun and a little ghosty. Oh, Katie, those are so cute. Thank you for paying attention and realizing and seeing that, friend. That's, that's such a sweet touch. Okay, here we go. So, I got some dashboards. Look, and she just came out with these dashboards. They are so good. Look at this, so this is sinking funds. Look at this little heart right here. I'm just obsessed with the attention to detail. But we have sinking funds. We have a month ahead. Look, and the hearts, oh, I just love them. Annual expenses, so cute. And then bills binder, look at this gorgeous. And then her Christmas savings challenge made into an envelope. Stop it right now, and some prop money. So cute, uh, that's so cute. Lord knows I use some prop money. And look at this, Christmas savings challenge. Each icon, it is customizable to your budget. You get to write the total here. Okay, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. Look at this cute little reindeer. Oh my goodness, thank you so, so much for sending me all of this, Katie. It is just, just top-notch quality and just processing like you just have one of the sweetest sweetest souls and I'm so thankful to have met you through this so this is what she sent me and we are absolutely gonna be adding these into my binders as we get to them in our cash stuffing today oh, I'm so excited so let's just jump right into the cash stuffing we are taking care of all of our coins I have a lot today don't forget that in my description box I have everything listed for you guys where my binders are from my cash stuffing supplies from Amazon is listed in my storefront I have my Etsy shop listed anything that you would probably possibly need is all listed there so check it out if you're interested in anything it is time for us to stuff our bills I do have my new dashboard in here from Katie at the fancy dollar let me see which little charm I want to add in let's do a pop of color let's do this tassel so cute oh my gosh it's just so tiny and adorable and I just love it so much okay so if you are new here hi thank you so much for being here I'm so glad that you are we stuff our bill binder with prop money because we are not one month ahead on bills however I do value transparency I do think it is awesome and I just want to be honest with you guys about what bills we do pay and how much we put in them so we are starting with tithe tithe gets 270 we pay our tithe twice a month and then we're stuffing mortgage for the first time the way that we have split it up we're putting 850 in mortgage from my paycheck so that's 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, and 50. 
I did think about possibly pulling out the cash for mortgage and stuffing it in here because we are technically going to be one month ahead in our mortgage because you know when you buy a house you kind of have that grace month period and we're budgeting out our February check that's gonna be the first payment of our mortgage but I was like you know I'm not one month ahead on everything and just trying to make sure I get the money back and forth in time would stress me out so until we're more one month ahead on more things we're just gonna leave mortgage in prop money electricity gets two hundred dollars we budget two hundred dollars per month for electricity Next up is water. Our water bill, we budget out $50. We don't normally spend that much in water. I just leave the extra in there for like a little buffer in our checking account. Gas, we're not stuffing gas yet. Not sure how much this is gonna be. <laughs> a few of you like gave me some of your gas prices that are on your house and I'm only a little bit freaked out, but it's gonna be okay. <laughs> I think our hot water heater and then we have a fireplace that runs on gas. Um, but I think that's it. So we'll, we'll have to see how much that's gonna end up being. Trash, we budget $16 for our trash bill each month. Universal Yums, y'all, I do have to pause here and just tell you, we have canceled Universal Yums for the remainder of the year for several reasons. Number one, because it's $45 a month. And while we are adjusting to our new budget, we are just kind of trimming the fat. Now, there are some subscriptions to like... TV shows and streaming services that we could probably cancel, but we just started with Universal Yums to see if we could make it work and keep the others. Um, and also because of our health, you guys know we're really trying to work hard this year on getting our health in order and all that jazz. And so we just said, you know what, for this year, let's just go ahead and cancel it, really buckle down, really get serious. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, in 2025, we'll be able to add this back in. So this will be the last stuffing of Universal Yums for this year. I'm so sad, but it's going to be okay. MPE is getting $11. This is just my teacher insurance I have to pay $11 each month for that internet gets 85 so 50 70 80 and 5 Storage units. Our storage units are a little bit funky, so we put $140 for one set of our storage units. This is the $140 that will go away once we move. And then we do $55 for our permanent storage unit. It has some of my stuff. It has some of my mom's stuff. <laughs> so that one's going to stay. The $55 is going to stay. Canva. Canva is getting $13. And then last but not least is our puppy pills. You will probably notice that we didn't stuff subscribe and save either. We did go ahead and cancel our automatic shipment of subscribe and save puppy pads. So that's not gonna be coming out every paycheck. We will have more control now of when we want it to come out. So that's gonna be $30 put back into our account per pay period as well. So things are looking up, things are looking better. So puppy pills has 110, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Not that they were looking bad before, but you know. <laughs> New budget, new numbers, it's always a little bit daunting. All right, so let's move on to our wallet. I wanna add the little seashell and the lime green tassel to my wallet. They just make me so happy, they're so fun. So let's go ahead and get these stuffed. I do have my floral spring envelopes now listed on my Etsy shop so you guys can purchase those instead of having to go through like Messenger or Instagram to get that order from me. So if you're interested in these, they are listed in the Etsy shop now. My grocery for my wallet gets $25. This is just for any little extras or add-ons that we need for the week. My gas, I do have a five rollover in gas. That is awesome. And I'll be getting a 50. I do use the Upside app for my gas. Hopefully, like, when I can. I can't always use it. Not all of the gas stations around my area use Upside, so that's why I still stuff it in cash. And then if I put money on the credit card for gas, I'll just pull this and kind of split it however I need to to make that deposit onto the credit card. Okay, household is getting a new number. Not 15. It's only getting 10 this time. Just got to get used to these new numbers. My spending is getting a 20. And I'm going to have $30 in spending now. Definitely going to try to save this and not be spendy just while we're adjusting and on our new budget. All right, eating out. Eating out is only going to be getting a 5 for me this time instead of a 10. So eating out is going to have 10, 20, 30, 45. Okay, going out with friends is getting a five. 
we do have a birthday coming up for one of our friends, so we're planning a, a little outing for that. I'm excited to have this money saved up. So going out has 20, 30, 45, 45. Huh. I like it when envelopes match for some reason. Is anybody else like that? Okay, my drinks. Drinks is getting a five. Used to be a lot of tens, now it's a lot of fives. Oh, and we need to put these ones in our $1 challenge. So in drinks, we will have 10, 20, and five. Toiletries is completely drained and it is getting a 20. As you can tell, I finally stocked up and made those purchases that I needed to make. Shampoo, perfume, concealer, all that jazz. So we gotta get this envelope stuffed back up. All right, miscellaneous is getting a five and we do not have buffer anymore. So I need to take that envelope out of my wallet and my wallet is gonna be good to go. Moving on to my handsome husband. Let's see what we've got going on here. By the way, happy Valentine's Day. I know it's not Valentine's Day when you're seeing this, but it is Valentine's Day when I'm filming it. I hope you guys had a great day. I hope you know how loved and important and valued you are. No matter where you're at in life, no matter what stage, no matter what is going on, you are awesome and don't forget it. So let me know if you had a good Valentine's Day. I pray that you guys did. We had a fun, good Valentine's Day. He is just, he's so thoughtful and he spoils me so much much. If you saw my budgeting video, if you didn't, I'll link it now. His groceries get to 25. Um, he got me the little matchbox that I used to light my candle at the beginning of that video. And oh my gosh, it's so cute. It just says, um, it's like Scott and Taylor, perfect match. And it has the year that we met, like since 2016. Oh, he's so thoughtful and I'm so grateful for him. All right, household. He got a 50 in gas. Household is getting a 10. So let me know what you guys did. Are you doing something this weekend? We'll probably go. I'll pull that Valentine's Day money that I stuffed in our important dates box and I'll go and get us like a fancy dinner because we're still not, he's still not really wanting to get out. He's still in some pain. He did have his injection, his like pain injection shot. Spending is getting a 20 um, and that it's like taking effect. You guys, if anyone has ever had that, you know, it kind of takes a couple days to take effect. So it is in the process of taking effect right now. And so um, he says he's already starting to feel some relief. And so we're so excited about that. His eating out is getting a 10. So we're still just taking it easy, taking it slow. His drinks is getting a five. But I'd love to know what you guys did. Let me know all the fun things. And I hope you guys are having a great week and had a great weekend. Toiletries is getting a 10 for him. And then his miscellaneous is getting a five. And I'm gonna leave his buffer envelope in there in case he wants to pull and maybe put his rollover cash or anything like that. But miscellaneous is the last one we're stuffing in here and we are moving on to our sinking fund. Of course, we are going to add in our dashboard from Katie because it is so perfect and I love it so much. Oh, it just looks so good. Oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, moving on with our sinking funds. First thing that we're gonna be stuffing is groceries. So our grocery envelope and our sinking funds binder gets 150, so that's 20, 40, 60, 81. Two, ooh, these are crispy 20s. That was 20, 40, and 50. Let me just count it one more time. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, perfect. We did not have any rollover in grocery this week. Honestly, we haven't stuffed in a little bit. You guys know we've been trying to make our checks stretch as long as we possibly could. But that's great. I think we only went over like $5 in grocery. So we made all of that money last like two, two and a half, maybe three weeks. So I'm not at all complaining or sad about that. I'm very thankful. All right, we're gonna pull those ones and put them in our $1 bag. Household is going to be getting 30, so 20 and 30. In household now we have 20, 40, 60, 70. Perfect. Pups, this puppy luppies are gonna be pulling these ones. Look at all of our ones, I'm so excited. They're gonna be getting a 20. In puppy food, we have 20, nope, this is just pups, not puppy food. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100, yay. I did pull some of their money, I can't remember if I told you guys this, and purchased them some new lines, some new leads. I'm not sure what they're called, but we just needed some new leads for them, so that's where that money went. Puppy food is getting a 20, and they will have $30 now. We just purchased them a new big bag of puppy food, so they should be okay. 
prescriptions is getting a five, lots of fives in our sinking funds. So 20, 40, 60, 75, 80 in prescriptions. If I need to pull that $100 bill out of chiropractor and use it for prescriptions for whatever reason, you guys know we've had to been paying for like a lot of things lately. I'll do that. I think it's fine right now, but if I ever need to, I absolutely will. All right, over-the-counter meds, you are getting a five as well. And over-the-counter meds, we have 110, 15, 25. Chiropractor, like I said, I'll pull this if I need to. I'm not gonna do it just yet, but just in case it's ever needed. Chiropractor has 120, 40, 50, 65, 70. I just don't go to the chiropractor as often as we need to pay for prescriptions and that's the most important. All right, us is getting $20. In us, we now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, yay, $90. Eating Out is also going to be getting a 20. And in Eating Out, we have 20, 40, 60, 70. Oh, something else that happened on our bills. I got our email that our State Farm bill is ready to be paid, and it went from $107 to $75. So that's going to be even more money back into our checks for the second and third paycheck of the month. You guys know which was kind of like the, ooh kind of close cutting it close one so i'm super pumped about that going out with friends got a 20 it has 20 40 60 75 80 85 nope 80 <laughs> not 85 80 and going out with friends sam's is getting a five and sam's now has 120 40 60 80 95 oh my gosh almost 200 dollars in sam's yay hunting is getting a five and in hunting, he will now have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 105 dollars. Yes. Birthdays is getting a five. And in birthdays now we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. Okay, yay, 48 dollars, almost up to 50 in birthdays. That is awesome. Car maintenance. You are going to be getting a 10 today. In car maintenance, we have 10, 20, 35. $35 in car maintenance. Medical is also going to be getting a 10. And I bet we're going to have the exact same 10, 20, 30, and 5. We did pull our rollover gas money that we had, and we used that as a credit card payment. Doctor's bills were just stacking up, all that kind of jazz. And so just to make this a little bit more comfortable, I think we had 165 in there and that went on the credit card, but I'm just gonna put that five in the back, back in gas, cause that's where it came from. We have another nice stack of ones that I am popping in my dollar bag. Excited to see how full this is going to get. Let's move on to our annuals. First though, we have to put in our dashboard to our annuals binder. Cute, 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 cute. I'm also gonna pop in the little ghosty in here. I just think he kind of matches this vibe of this binder with like the cream and the white. Oh, he looks so cute. Okay, so first and foremost, we are stuffing body. Beach body is going to be getting a five. I stuff this one all year, even though it's not due till the end of the year, just cause it's so expensive. Beach body will now have $20. It's not one that I'm willing to give up though quite yet. I do use beach body almost every day and it has helped me so much. So it's gonna stick around for a little while. P.O. Box is getting a five. We have 10, 15, 20, one, two, three, and four in P.O. Box. Prime, this is our biggest one, or one of our biggest ones. Beachbody's the biggest, but Prime is the second biggest. Prime is getting $12. Get this in order, perfect. In Prime, we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 56 dollars in Prime. Sam's, Sam's is going to be getting a five. I am going to add in car tags soon. 
finally went and got my car tag renewed and I took away the special vanity tag. I was full of the alumni spirit when I got my car and got my vanity tag and now I'm just full of the frugal spirit. I was like, I'm so tired of paying this specialty fee. So now I know Scott's tag is like $25 and mine is like 33. So I'll be able to make that and pop that in here. So in Sam's we have five, 10, 15 and 20. Perfect. I bet VPN is going to have 20 as well. Let's see. All right, here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20. Perfect. And our annual expenses are stuffed up. And it is time for savings challenges. For savings challenges, how they're gonna work, I am still going to do our scratching and all that jazz for savings challenges like we were gonna be able to stuff them next week. However, I don't know when we'll be able to stuff savings challenges again. It just may be like a my check and then our side hustle money. I'm not sure, we'll see how it goes. So we'll go ahead and scratch, but I'm not sure when we're gonna stuff them again. Taylor is getting $4, a one and a two and a three and a four. In Taylor we now have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 27 in Taylor. Christmas is getting a 20 and I think this is going to get us our first $100 in Christmas 2024. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 1, 2, 3, 4, 100. I am so beyond excited about this. $100 already saved up for Christmas. That is fantastic. All right, extra payment. Extra payment got six, so a five and a six. And in extra payment, we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. $38 in extra payment for whatever we want it to be for. Refinance, it got a five. In refinance, we have 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. A solid $50 in refinance. Lovely, okay, month ahead. Month ahead got a 10. And month ahead, we now have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. $57 in month ahead. Heck yes, let's do some scratching. Here's what we were looking at the next time we get to stuff savings challenges. Taylor got a dollar. Then we have Christmas. Probably not gonna be able to stuff this, but we'll see what we can make work. Christmas scratched a 30. Extra payment, we scratched Pam's teapot and it got $4. Refinance, we scratched a six, and month ahead, we scratched 17. If we can make it work, we will. If not, that will be eight. And let's finish up our savings challenges. We have our important dates box and our emergency fund to stuff. For our Crab Fest envelope, we needed to finish stuff in this one. We needed to add a 10 for 15. We also have decided this year for Crab Fest for 4th of July, we are probably gonna forego it, even though we've been saving up for it. If we just have a lot going on this year, we do not wanna push and stretch ourselves. Now, what we do with this money, that is the question of the day. For right now, we are planning on just leaving it like it is and continuing to stuff Crab Fest for next year because hopefully we will get to go next year. However, if we run into a situation where we need to move it or shuffle it to something else, we absolutely will, but we're just gonna kinda keep going through the box like we're going right now and not move and switch and change anything as of right now. We're also gonna stuff the 35 envelope. And for next time, let's do a 20. Last but not least, we are stuffing our 1K emergency fund savings challenge. Ooh, I need to clean that up a little bit. So today we are stuffing another $50 envelope and then we are doing two 20s. So there is one and two, and then we're gonna do a 10 and we'll cross that one off. Okay, we are moving right along. I love seeing all of this progress that we're making. Put these two fives in this first 10 that I came across. We'll stick this 50, not in there, but we'll stick this 20 in here. We'll put this 50 in here. 
Okay, let's find one more 20. There we go. And stick in that in there. And that is it, my friends. That's our cash stuffing for today. That is our first paycheck of February. It is my paycheck. If I forgot to say that, I make $2,681 and I'm a high school teacher. You know, nothing like throwing it in, in at the very end. Thank you so much for spending this time with me and being here. I'm just so grateful for each and every one of you. I so value and appreciate your time. Don't give up doing great things, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.